Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. In this episode, we will talk about Brain.js, which is a library in um, Node.js that you can use for machine learning within Node.js, but also within the browser. But in this tutorial, we will use it just within Node.js. So basically, Brain.js is a neural network in JavaScript. So if you go to the website of Brain.js, for example, then uh, you can just say this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You can train a neural network. So yeah, it's, it's very nice to train a neural network to recognize color contrast, but it's just a brain of jazz demo. Just play around with it, see what it can do for you. It's very nice. So basically a neural network looks like this. It has some um, neurons, which in machine learning are perceptrons, and then you have different layers this layer, this layer, and this layer is a hidden layer. And then we have an output that we want to predict, right? So basically a, a, a perceptron, a specific part of a neural network, so a single part, looks like this. It is an input or has inputs. Then it has weights that we need to train right and then we have here a summation function we have here bias to regulate our summation function and then we have an activation function which uh, provides us with an output that can go to another node or to really the output itself so basically we can just install brain.js right then we can here import brain.js so now we can very easily create neural network like that so of course i need to change this to brain and then we can have new brain.neural network we specify hidden layers so in this case we use three hidden layers and then we can create our training data so in our case our training data will be very easy just an input and an output our input are just two binary uh, numbers right zero or a one and an output will also be zero or a one these, of course, are very limited uh, training data samples. So normally you will have a ton of uh, data samples. The more data you have, the accurate the data uh, or the model that you train will be. So that's very important. But for this case, it's just uh, to show you how it works and how you can use it. So basically training data exists out of an input and then you have also an output. This is just um, yeah, your input data, but that can also be called a label or a target. Then of course we can say net dot train training data, right? So now we are going to train our model with our training data. And of course we can extend it a little bit. We can provide training options. And then here we can say what our training options are. And our training options here are our iterations, just a number. So we want to have 20,000 iterations. So 20,000 times our weights will be recalculated. Uh, and then we will have a log function where we can print out our details. All right. Method will return 
network a network state and so that's also nice just to have that available and i also want to print it out in our console.log And then of course we can just print out certain um, predictions. So we do a prediction with net.run and then we just provide um, input samples, right? And then you can just predict what uh, it should be. And of course, just what we also trained. So normally it will output with a zero and then with a one, with a one, and then with the zero again. But normally your input and your output will be a little bit more difficult, more divided between each other. And then you can do certain nice tricks with that. But it, this is just to demonstrate you guys what you can do with brain.js. I'm just going to build this. Great. Now I'm going to clear it here. Now we can do node dot. You will see that we had some iterations, we had some training error, and we see how many errors we had, we see how many iterate iterations we had, and then you see what he uh, what he predicted, right? So the first one is very close to zero. Second one is very close to one. The one is also very close to one. And the other one is very close to zero. So that's great. I hope you learned a little bit from this tutorial. Maybe you can already see some use cases, how you can train of certain data and then use that, for example, in the browser. Next time we will see tensorflow.js which is a more common library that's also very popular uh, within Python and machine learning itself. And um, yeah, I hope to see you also in that tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.